<laughs> Hi, I am Josh Hoffman. I am the co-founder and COO of JBMB Properties. Um, I am here with the lovely and talented CK Collins, uh, who has quickly become a really good friend of mine uh, since October. Such a <laughs> short, short time here in Newport County. Uh, but one of the things that we want to do as an initiative uh, within Newport County is really start to spotlight uh, locals that are making any sort of change or effort in improving the community, any sort of initiative to gather, to collect, to bring people uh, you know, into their atmosphere with positive auras. And uh, CK Collins definitely does that really, really well. So I think that's why I've been so attracted to her energy. Um, but she has recently just released uh, The Swipe Right Effect, uh, The Power to Get Unstuck. And mm -hmm. it is an incredible Written book. here in Newport. Written here in Newport, published. <laughs> from that desk or table <laughs> over there. Um, and so we really want to dive into this and highlight it because uh, this is a very impactful book and even for myself, uh, it's caused me to think about certain things that I normally would not have uh, within my life. And also acknowledging some things that I was stuck in preemptively, mm -hmm. which I think was really, really cool. Uh, but in talking about this and gathering, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about the book, the synopsis, uh, the motivation behind it, and, and, you know, just anything you want from a snippet inside. Okay. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> um, the Swipe Right Effect is a, basically a pay-it-forward book, and it was written in gratitude for all of the help that my friends gave me and, and teaching me to choose myself and to take care of myself after a divorce. And then um, they were wonderful to share their stories and of loss and grief and challenges. And so there's 10 women's stories that are really told and shared to help others. And it's each chapter has a piece of advice about um, something that my friends shared with me and then I interview them and ask them to tell their stories. And so I think it's, it's a, you know, at, at its really base level, the more I talk about the book, I, I realize it's about friendship and it's about how my friends stepped up to help me when I was in a hard, hard, dark place and um, how they helped me climb that mountain back to happiness and joy and gratitude. And so once I had, I traveled for a year and I kept thinking about all of the amazing things that my friends did for me and um, that's so that and that made me write the book and yeah I sat at that kitchen table and wrote it in three months and it just really I felt like it just came through me um, and my friends were also so um, sweet to let me interview them because it was it was all very personal stories and you're exposing a lot when mm -hmm. you divulge information about your personal life and 